Hey everyone, today's video is all about Gandalf. You're here because you want to know if he's good, how to build him, etc. I can tell you now he is insane. I'm going to tell you why very shortly and tips and tricks of how to get the most out of him. Kick ass, commander, and you really need to see this. So everyone, Gandalf the Grey, guide, build, how do we do it? I've wanted to do this for a while. I really love Gandalf. He's my favorite, favorite character. Um, quick review. He's S tier. He is up there. He's one of the best. He's honestly insane. He really, really is insane. And I would say, sort of like, a, I'd give him a 10 out of 10. I don't know what I would do to improve this guy. Uh, damage reduction, mega healing. Um, he's awesome. Um, so, A tier, 9 out of 10 kind of thing. Um, and you need to see this, honestly. So, keep watching. I'm going to show you how to get the most out of him. That's the key thing. There's a few tips and tricks we need to be showing how to get the most out of Gandalf the Grey. Let's have a quick look at um, his stats. Uh, we won't spend long on this. Um, he has a good gain on focus, 2.4 per level, which is insane. Slow speed, <coughs> excuse me, slow spot, uh, slow might, but he has got that insane focus. So he has really low damage to your armies, reduces that big time. But not a great, great, like, sort of, builder in damage in, in focus and in in stats if you compare him to someone like aragorn um you can see here 2.1 per level on might and 1.6 per speed and one in focus if you added all them up Gandalf's much lower so he's going to be um, quite lower but huge focus so really really good and that's what we need with gandalf all we need is focus 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 so let's get stuck into this why is he so key i'm going to quickly mention if you wanted a really really quick review um, we're going to be talking a lot about the grey and how it works and then the, 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 the sort of equipment you need to use. So in this the grey, need to put, I'm not going to go through all these details in a second, but after the commander deals damage, there's a 50% chance of recovering 100% HP. So the key bit to mention is always on sort of all, all commanders, you need to read these kind of things. After the commander deals damage, so every single time, so we're going to look at sort of things like this so damage twice two times of activating it damage activate it again so with all these little tips and tricks but not only is it abilities and normal attacks we're talking about when it's on weapons as well okay so the key item you want to sort of have there's a few there's a few different ones i'm here using a Noldor sword very lucky to be able to get my mind split up to like a tier tier two I'm talking like tier 1 being base level item, tier 2 being the one up. You can see here, after the commander performs a normal attack, there's a 50% chance of dealing an additional 53% focus damage. Okay, for a start, that's awesome anyway. I'm going to be boosting this up uh, to try and get as high as possible, because this damage can be insane if we get to a high level Noldor Sword. The army attack plus 0, I think, is maybe a bug there as well. Um, I don't think it is plus 0. Um quite a weird one if it is let me just dead quick i'm going to say it's a plus one it was plus one at the moment so I'll, it's a quick way of checking that is by the way refining and strengthening but yeah really really key thing is mind split a chance to activate that heal again i'll show you that in commander logs other ones you can do in the sort of purple exquisite kind of thing smite deal an additional damage after the attack the other one is pierce and after the commander attacks <coughs> deal 13.3% physical damage. So again, another way of activating a second load of damage to activate that gray. And you can see here, we'll read again. After the commander deals damage. So we dealt damage, it activates something else to deal damage again and possibly activates this. And let's just check that in the, in the logs. It's insane, really. Um, I, I love this, it's really, really cool. So if we go around to, let's go around to round two. So round three, maybe that. Uh, so Gandalf the Grey activates Blindside. Okay, it's a focus damage. And then he gets the heal of 211. So that's his ability. I don't think he gets. Then he activates Surge. Okay, you can see here. 1730 damage. 1730 damage. The Grey did not affect Gandalf. The Grey did not affect Gandalf. The reason for it, everyone was already pretty much full HP. Or it didn't activate. 
But look at that. It, uh, you can see here. So we did this one here. We did the blind side. The grey heals. The grey heals Bow Knight. We did the surge. The grey did not impact. So the 50% chance didn't work. And then surge again. And the grey did not activate. You've got three, could possibly three huge heals in one round there. Oh my god, then he attacks. And then, and then the grey, oh my, it, four heals in one round on round three. Is that? He's honestly insane. He's really, really good. Love him. He's in, honestly, you need to, the heals this guy can pump out is insane. I wish I had some PvP to show you on this. Um, I'm going to do some more PvP videos in a couple of weeks. Uh, we're doing some uh, end of season fun and games, King of the Hill and stuff. So I'll be showing that soon. Most of this video, I know it's we're five minutes in already, and like I'm showing you this over and over. It's really important. This is the biggest thing of uh, Gandalf to get the most out of him. So we're talking about the grey. We're fifty percent chance of recovering H hundred percent hundred percent HP when we do damage. How we do that is making sure we do as many occurrences of damage as possible. So the reason why I'm saying it and not saying like you have to use this. Is there might be other abilities so always look for that at doing extra damage after an ability or after an attack etc and it will activate second time third time whatever running through the other bits of equipment really quickly we've got elven cloak focus 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 speed focus speed and army hp great and there we go bonus five on that one for elven cloak i held helmet this one <coughs> i've not up upped it um, and geared it up or anything because it's end of season. I'm not sure what we're going to go next season. Are we going to be using dwarves? Are we going to be going more elves like Lothorium? Um, we don't show, know yet. The other key item that I put on every character possible, every commander possible, is this awesome sustain. Okay, allies recover 19% HP every two rounds. Okay, so you're getting a massive heal every two rounds or an additional heal. And also, look at that, commander focus plus 24, because I went up to tier 3 this is now. But um, sustain, you want to look for uh, sustain, and I believe there's something called mend um, as well, um, from what I've seen. And the other one that I like is second wind. So on the uh, round four is again another, another sort of remove debuffs and a little heal. But sustain's my favourite, really good healing. And we know Gandalf's healing already um, is amazing, as we talked about already. So really good, honestly, and you need to, you need to have a look at something like that. Uh, but awesome, all, all big focus as well. Running through these builds, then I've got him on respect for. I it's insane that if you haven't got him, like you want to be getting on your math and chests. What well, before you forget, and I've said this already on many other videos. If you see something in this video you like and you learn, you have to like and subscribe. That's the deal we got here. Okay, you've learned something, we're going to teach you something next time on the next video. So, honestly, get your learnings here, um, like, subscribe, and you can see here in uh, we were talking about math and peddler rare treasures wish list get yourself on the old win yards put that in there now that's a reminder right now to put it in because he's insane don't forget at the end of this video and go oh i'm going to build gandalf remember this as well so you make sure you boost him up on respect so there we go so let's have a look at these abilities then we're going to spend about five minutes on this we don't want a video that goes on forever um, let's have a nosy then we have first of all like i said the gray you want to put in all of your points into this if you had 15 points, you can put in all into this. It's really, really key. Um, awesome, awesome ability. We've already talked about that, though. Then, the big thing I want to talk about before you start getting bored in the video is remember about damage dealing. And this is a key for anything, okay? Any a bit of any characters where it's got the after damage or after ability or whatever it is, put single points in things, okay? So here you can see blind side deals 16% focus damage um, once, and it also stuns. And it does that every three rounds. So two rounds, it doesn't happen. Third round, you stun a target, deal damage, activate a heal. And then we've also got a key one over here in Surge. You have to respect level three, I get you. Maybe not all got level three respect. But again, deal damage twice. And we saw that on round three on the example, we got four chances of heals in that round. So yeah, really, really key. One point in blindside, one point in surge you can get there. If you want to deal in loads more damage, I get it. I'm not really that fussed with it. I'm not really too excited. Uh, what have we then got after that? Um, as we said uh, there at the start, two allies units, 75% chance of avoiding the next instance of damage. That happens every three rounds. So really, really good there. All avoidance is great. Um, and yeah, dam 
sustain, keeping people alive. Uh, really cool ability. I like that one. Let's have a look at another tier one main sort of tree. Again, first four rounds against all enemies, damage is minus 11%. So reducing that damage in the uh, from the enemies. Okay, this is affected by modified by the focus stat. We're pumping focus to the max, 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 max. I believe as you get to about 300, uh, you're doing a really big, like you want to aim sort of like 300 focus if you can get it from your items. And I believe it's sort of like, what, 25, 30% reduction. Um, and I'd love to do the maths on this. We don't want to do the video forever. I've already so shown you the key things. But yeah, Myth Mithranda, I have I max it out as well. Uh, max it out as well because really good damage reduction. Um, so honestly, awesome. Uh, you need to get that ability too. My free the peoples is probably something that I throw as a last minute thing. Uh, the last bit goes into this. And it probably the last on here. If I was respect level 3, for example, I'd take one out of the free peoples. Um, so... But so it's still good. Damage reduction minus ten percent. I've got it too at the moment. It goes up to minus fourteen percent. Down the bottom here. So this is a, a separate sort of build. If you want to go full on damage, kill as many people as possible. This is probably a good one to go for. Um, first two rounds you gain initiative, which I believe you attack first, and there's a ten point seven chance of attacking twice each round. That ends up being seventy five percent. So you can get a really good burst early on. Linking that in with wizard which is against two enemy targets and flicks on a minus 50 defense. That can actually do some really good burst damage. Okay, some really, really good burst damage at the front of uh, front of your army. Why don't I take this? <clears throat> okay, the reason why I don't is I'm Linden. Okay, that's the only reason why I don't take this ability is I am Linden. We have the Noldor long shot that doesn't have normal attacks. It can't attack twice. So this doesn't ability doesn't work with them. So I will hope you listen to this. With if I was Lothlorien or Arnor with my tier four archers, I'd probably have that. Okay, minus fifty damage, double attacks possibly on first two rounds. Oh my god, the damage! You'll be bursting down those the, the big brick walls, very nicely, really really good. And I'll probably take it instead of the fleeting movements because I want to. I've got loads of sustain anyway. We've got loads of healing. Why not? Let's just smack them as well. Um, so really, really good ability. Um, great, great, great ability. We don't really pick up Pipe Weed Connoisseur. Plus 2% focus. Really nice and everything. But we ain't got all the respect points in the world. And he's got too many good abilities to ignore. So not a mega thing for me. One thing to note on this though. <coughs> I mentioned in the previous Haldo video. If people have high skill points the 2%, 1%, etc. really do pay off. So at 338, two, like every, so if we got five points, I'd say it's 10%, that's an extra 35 or nearly 35 focus. And then that's an extra 2% damage reduction on everything. So really, really good. Uh, yes, if we got respect level 25, we'd be pumping it into everything like this, uh, but we don't have the luxury of doing that. And he's got too many good abilities, we're picking instead of this. So I do not recommend p picking up Pipe weed connoisseur. As I mentioned previously, surge is a really, really good one. Um, damage twice, heals possibly twice. So again, one point in that is all you need. You could have go go full damage build kind of thing, um, and then whack it all into there. I haven't at the moment. I'm just going to stay in. I like the heals. I like keeping people alive, and we've been doing that in PvP. Really, really key thing of PvP is keeping people alive because you're having fight after fight after fight. And it's it's tiresome. Um, it can it can really hurt when people attack you twice, three times in a go. So that sustain really does keep you alive for those second and third fights. Running over here, respect level five. Hopefully, I'm nearly there. Really, next next math and video. Hopefully, we can get there. This is all allies units. First three instances of damage uh, received is minus one point two percent. So again, minus twenty percent damage on that. With the big focus on it, we're going to be reducing even more. Um, so really, really cool. Um, Devos comes into effect once more at max level. So, again, really good. It might be something we take instead of the Mithrandir. We'll have to do some calculations when we get to the Respect 5. Really good, though. Looking here on what we come from that, if we do get it, we can do some lo a load of damage reduction from Focus, Burn, and Poison. 
not loads of that in the game there's some probably from the orc faction with the burns there's not loads of it though so not really of something that jumps out to me that's really important the last one is damage to orcs uruk high and trolls i'm sorry about pronunciation of lord of the rings fans uh plus four percent that would be insane plus 28 percent if we get up to max i don't we've never fighted orcs we literally are friends with them uh we really really are friends with them however trolls is the biggest 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 thing we go against as the good faction against big uh, big tiles so 200 tiles has trolls 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 mounting trolls marauders all of them they're trolls this will be insane so if i'm going to be taking a if i'm going to be taking some big tiles chances are in the future i might be using this rather than sneaking movements etc to burst down those big units so yeah, I think that's everything we've got to say. I've, I've covered it most in the first, the first eight, nine minutes of the video, how, how important this, the grey is. You want to be building this. It's really, really key. Um, really, really exciting. You need to be doing that. And then the sustain. Sustain, you need your extra ability performing normal attack, 50% chance of dealing additional damage. All of that's really, really important. Um, so yeah. Hopefully this video helps you. Hopefully you got some learnings. And again, I said earlier in the video, if you like it, please do subscribe tell me in the comment section what video you want to see next and again yes yeah, subscribe if you've learned something today which i can assure you everyone's learned something you must have if you haven't already learned it then get creating some videos because i want to learn from you because um, clearly you know everything's going on um, now nah, just honestly thank you very much for watching the video and hopefully you've learned something today i shall catch you all again next time see you later